Welcome to the Cannabis Packaging Show, the world's first cannabis packaging show. This is a special episode with 2019 coming up. First of all, we're Contempo Specialty Packaging. Everyone give a little round of applause. Oh, hello. hello. To the booming cannabis industry. 2019 is going to be a year like no other. I think it's a, a year that's going to be really the one that sets apart the true winners, the true trailblazers from the people who are still early in the market, still going to do well. But if you really want to be a top 100 brand in five years, I think 2019 is the year that you have to make an impact. And today we're going to bring you 12 episodes before our company Christmas party. And you've got the beautiful Christmas tree made from flower jars. We're going to show you 12 categories, the best packaging possible for each of those categories. We get asked a lot, people saying, I want better than just average packaging. We want to be a great brand. And this series, this saga of 12 episodes is all about showing you beautiful packaging in 12 categories. I've got my man Dan here on the set. The kid. <laughs> we had a lot of invites that I was turned down, especially from the ladies not wanting to come on the set. Please drop in the comments below if you would like to see more of our female staff on the set in the future. <laughs> and if the customers ask for it, you guys get to do it. So uh, please subscribe to the channel. In 2019, we're, we have a big focus on eco-friendly packaging, sustainable packaging. So I know a lot of you guys are interested in that. Click subscribe and you'll get to stay in tune with all the innovations we have in that area. So we're gonna get into the flower packaging right now, but I just wanna state something that I think all of you guys know, but I've identified this as something I wanna share. 2019 being a year that will never come again quite literally, but in terms of opportunity, it'll never be here again. We have millions of consumers who are not in the market like many of us are, but millions of consumers going into stores for the first time legally buying cannabis and your opportunity to be the brand that they choose and that they get to connected with and that they, for the rest of their lives, say that was the brand that I started with. These are the brands that I really connect with. It's truly a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I think that too many people are sort of thinking of perfecting their brand and perfecting their packaging as a three to five year thing because they're seeing success in the market because they're early. And I just wanna urge people who wanna be those top brands in five years, in 10 years, to start building loyalty now with consumers. Packaging, branding, marketing are all part of that. So, Dan, do you have anything you wanna share on that vein or do you wanna jump right into the packaging? No, no, I think you're absolutely right. It's gonna be the complete package and you, you really need to get the ball rolling now. The time is now. So, um, for those of you who are kind of waiting to pull the trigger, we are here to help. There are other resources out there to help you as well. Um, I think, you know, you can get stuck on an idea. This is my baby. This is my investment and so forth. Um, but really the goal is, is to utilize the resources like Contempo who are out there to help you uh, become the brand that you, you should be, that you want to be. Um, let us take that off your plate and create beautiful packaging for you and really present what you've been working so hard on to the rest of the world. What an intro, baby. Well said. I like it's it. first time on the show. We're going to bring it back. <laughs> so, um... Bottom line, go to contempopackaging.com to learn more, but this is the Cannabis Packaging Show. We're gonna show you stuff from the market, from other companies. We'll give a hat tip to certain other, other cannabis packaging companies that we think are doing great things to bring you guys the most value possible. So Ingrid, who's become somewhat of a celebrity from the first call her half hands. of the year, people say we really wanna see what Ingrid looks like. She's still denying our request, but Ingrid, let's bring in the first highly generic packaging, but we wanna show it, um, so please bring our traditional pop tops onto the onto the beautiful set. All right, so we got generic pop top bottles. These right. dominate the market. Um, still a lot of people using them. And um, let's call on someone random. Let's call on Heather for a, um, just put her on the spot completely. What do you think about people who are using pop tops in a 2019 competitive cannabis environment? Um, I definitely think you're gonna look average at best using a pop top and you're not gonna stand out at all. I think people are gonna take your brand way more seriously if you get away from the pop tops and do something more, you know, luxury or not even luxury, but even just clean and I don't know, step it up a notch from the pop tops for sure. Absolutely. Unique, custom. This is you get lost in the shuffle with this. There's millions of bottles on the on the shelves that are gonna look like this. You become just another one of the cannabis guys instead of building the brand that people are gonna connect with their first time they walk into one of these dispensaries. The other thing I wanted, Dan and I were in Arkansas for the medical show, and we're all over the country just seeing different markets, talking to different people, and we're talking a lot about 
removing the stigma behind cannabis as a key part of packaging and marketing and branding. And I think a lot of us in the cannabis industry, we get caught up on the fact that there shouldn't be a stigma and look at what the propaganda did over time to create this stigma and it shouldn't exist. And while that may be true, and while I think we're all on the same page on that, we have to look at the reality that the stigma does exist with many of the people that you want as customers that you want to serve. So identifying that stigma and how people see the industry and trying to like push away from that. So having things packaged and branded the same way every other store that those consumers walk into, I think is a key success factor. Dan, this was one of your uh, thoughts when you initially started with us. So got anything to add to that? Yeah, absolutely. So in moving away from things like pop tops, generic things that are kind of uh, more so, in my opinion, black market at, at this uh, at this time, um, we're, we're moving well beyond that. And, and if you're still using it, I think you're um, you kind of miss the mark at this point, but it's it's never too late. Um, I know some folks are going more the luxury line uh, or, or luxury feel look and feel. But many of you might be going more the mass market affordable uh, route, which is fine, uh, but let us dress that up for you. Let us take the most cost-effective packaging solutions and make them look the best they can possibly look um, through custom design and so forth. Um, so always keep that in mind. It doesn't necessarily have to mean you're going to dump your entire budget into packaging. You can still have, uh, you know, we can still work with you um, on, a, on a smaller budget, so to speak, and, and still really give you a very nice, clean, professional, looking, professional looking product or professional vibe all right Absolutely. so let's hit it with rapid fire let's just get some more products in front of the camera so we got mylar bags here um, which I think a lot of the market dislikes but it's a practical cost-effective option that's still definitely out there um, so mylar bags let's just whip through these and so, okay, there are go. ways to make them nicer this has a little spot UV mm -hmm. um, over the logo CR yep. and a CR yes also, and this one is a uh, craft bag with silk screen. All right, so let's get into, I wanna show off that MedMen packaging. It's not a client that we have, but we were in uh, that right there, the state made just, I wanna give a uh, give credit where credit's due. This was just really nicely done, nice presentation. Show that off. Copper foil inside, and the jar that goes with it has a copper top. All right. That is very nicely done. Yes, you have. So let's show off this uh, this craft. Excuse me, the craft label on the glass jar with the cork top. It's just a nice natural rustic look. Put a quarter in there. Um, Again, based on the vibe that you're going for. That, that's, that's another key point is, what's your brand about? How do you want people to feel when they think of your brand and your products? And then just have the packaging match. It's this idea of congruence, of matching, of consistency from who you say you are to what you actually are, the actions behind it. So I think there's certain people with aspirations to build these awesome brands, and then the packaging sort of is a letdown or the branding's a letdown. And I think consistency sooner than later. I think you're gonna do this anyway, so I would urge you to act now on it and reap the rewards. Or we've seen guys that are spending you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars on a social media campaign or trying to get the message out and telling the story and getting a vibe, but then they're forgetting that the packaging sometimes is the first thing that's, that the consumer sees when they're looking at their product. So if you're pouring all this money into one area thinking that's the only way that you can tell a story, when really in our history and fashion, but, but all over the place, packaging is sometimes the first thing that people see when they're trying to understand and relate to you and what story you're trying to tell or what vibe you're trying to give off. So don't forget the other piece, which we think is the most important, the packaging side when we're trying to convey that vibe and tell that story. That's true. And I sometimes take for granted that people know our history, Contempo, is in the fashion world. So everything we're talking to you about right now is from a branding perspective of what successful brands have done. And while cannabis is different, the principles of what it takes to build a brand are very, very similar. So Ingrid, let's take a look what you got here. Um, this is one of our CR jars that you can print on, you can hot stamp on it. And those, those can come in any color too, which yes. is really nice. And to go with this one, 
Okay, there's a nice box. Branded box. It's a nice textured paper on that too, if you, yes. if you can uh, get that on the camera. Nick, can you make sure that's getting on the camera? He's all centered. Perfect. It's a hot stamp design all the way around. Sweet. All right, so you guys get the general sense of flower packaging. I want to move on to the next episode shortly, but any other key items that we want to show the audience? You've got more affordable flower packaging, you've got premium flower packaging, and maybe you have two lines within the same brand. So like we have a lot of people, this is our everyday line versus this is our premium line, and the packaging can look different. You can invest more in the premium versus the everyday, and they can have a distinctive look on the shelves as well. I think a lot of people should do that. Okay, we've got one more. The tin, which you can have a window in or not have a window in, depending on uh, the legal uh, specifications in your state Compliance. and what you want for your product. Very good. And you can do printing on tins as well. We've got a CR tin like that coming out. We have a number of products that we're launching, so if you guys want to stay up to date on those, go to contemplapackaging.com and drop your email in, and we'll keep you posted on what we're rolling out. Any other things going on? Jody, our new hire that we're so excited about, is going to make moves. Jody, you got any initial thoughts on the market? Game changer, baby. She's, She's getting out there soon. Get ready She's to get a, a call changer. from her. Uh, well, first of all, I'm really excited to be uh, to be part of this company and the opportunity that is uh, before all of us. And uh, I think that if people are really looking to make moves like us, you need to do it now. Uh, now is the time. So, you know, email us, call us, reach out to us, let us know what you need. We're here to, uh, to customize and pretty much bring your, uh, your dreams to fruition, so. It's well said. And we're here to, of course, do your packaging. We wanna do the packaging of all the top brands in the cannabis industry, like we do in the fashion industry, and we're already well on our way. But like, more importantly, we're in this for the long term. I wanna bring, if you don't buy any packaging from us for five years, I'll be a little disappointed and I don't think it's a good idea, but we're cool with that. I want to bring value. I want to give you guys ideas and thoughts through these episodes where maybe one idea will change everything for you. So ladies and gentlemen, we got 11 more episodes to go. I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, but I should be saying that at the last episode, right? Because we got 11 more. Worse than last. We'll see you guys on episode number two. Thank you. Thank you.